This is David Spears, civil engineering instructor at Texas Tech University, CE 2301 Statics. We're reviewing the uh, exam number one from spring of 2014. We've got a three-dimensional equilibrium problem involving three cables and a weight suspended. Uh, here's the setup and the geometry. And the only thing I've added is in orange I've drawn the coordinates of each point. There was some confusion because the uh, x-coordinate of point B was not given and the y-coordinate of point C was not given. But we were given this information, not D, right here in the center where everything's attached, lies in the xy plane. And as it turned out, so do cables B, B D, and C, D. Because we're given that cables B, D, and C, D are parallel to the x and y axes. So... I think it does help to draw in these coordinates when they're given to you, especially in this manner, by dimensions. So, the coordinates of point A are, it is right above the origin, which is 0, 0 in the XY, and it's 10 meters above in the, uh, 10 meters above vertically, so the coordinates of that are 0, 0, 10. Coordinates of point D, because it lies in the, xy plane are the z component is 0 and so it's 5 in the x and 2 in the y this helps me get my for, uh, cable forces cable vectors in Cartesian format then if you can't figure this out BD is parallel to the x-axis so just put any value in there for the x-coordinate it's some value x 2 in the Y and 0 in the Z. Similarly for point C, it's 5 in the X, any value you want for Y, and 0 in the Z direction. Now I've got all my coordinates kind of laid out for me, and I can proceed with the problem. First part was draw a free body diagram of not D. So it's just not D, which I should have written in there. That is point D. And uh, the three cables attached to it, TAD, TBD, TCD. And the weight, which was given to me as a mass of 110 kilograms, but i got to convert that with 9.81 to get 107.9 newtons or 1.079 kilonewtons. Now I just need to get everything in Cartesian format. I'll do it in detail for TAD. Remember I want a really a directed force vector, like a position vector, from the point, the knot where it's attached to the point it's headed towards, which is A. So it's the coordinates of A minus the coordinates of D. 0 minus 5I, 0 minus 2J, 10 minus 0K. Then I want to divide that whole thing by the square root of the sum of the squares, which is 5 squared, 2 squared, and 10 squared, which works out to be a square root of 129, which I just kind of use that value for accuracy. Writing it all out, I get negative 5 over the square root of 129i, negative 2 over the square root of 129j, 10 over the square root of 129k, the whole thing times TAD, and it is going to all be in newtons or kilonewtons, whatever I use. Okay, the TBD is very similar, except we have this mystery point out here. It's the coordinates of B minus the coordinates of D, so I have X minus 5, whatever I choose. But you'll see how it all comes out in the wash. 2 minus 2 is 0, 0 minus 0 is 0, and the K. So the square root of the sum of the squares is, the only thing I've got is my X coordinate, X value, which is I've just drawn it out here for to be goofy. X minus 5 squared, square root of that's X minus 5 divided by divided into X minus 5 is 1. So the Cartesian format of TBD is 1i, 0j, 0k. Remember, I like to write them all one above each other, sort of in columns, so I can kind of see my results. Do the same thing for TCD. 
except it's got a it's 5 minus 5 y minus 2 for j 0 minus 0 all that stuff and it ends up being 0 i plus 1 j plus 0 k times TCD I express my weight in Cartesian format it is pure z in the negative direction 0 i 0 j negative 1079 k newtons now I'm ready to quickly solve the whole all three problems number 18 was give me the tensioning cable AD the vertical one mostly vertical okay I look over here at my columns and I want to solve for TAD and I look in my Z column and I've got 0 TBD and 0 TCD so I can see a direct solution there I just need to equate those two or put them in an equation which I do right here sum of forces in the Z direction is 0 it's this component 10 over the square root of 129 TAD minus 1079 the weight so rearranging I get 10 over the square root of 129 TAD is equal to 1079 solving that I get TAD is equal to 1226 newtons or 1.23 kilonewtons okay real quickly I want to talk about the other possible answers I know this is a composite of all three tests and it's not exactly like any of them but every one of them had other possible answers for number 18 one was something like 12.5 kilonewtons okay you gotta use common sense I've got 1.08 essentially kilonewtons and this cable is mostly vertical so it's going to get a little bit of additional force from the fact that it's not purely vertical but it's not going to be 10 times as much so I could eliminate that kind of answer 10 times as big as sort of the order of magnitude I'm looking for then I would get every test had the exact weight on there in this case 1.808 kilonewtons but there's got to be some additional force caused by the fact that that cable is not purely vertical so I can eliminate this one it's got to be a little bit bigger than 1.08 and then finally the two of the tests had an answer that was like two and a half or three times bigger than the weight and I can eliminate that by inspection just because it, it's got to be something about that about 1.08 so this was the only logical answer in addition to being the correct answer. Use your head, think about this common sense solutions and look at the other possible answers. Can't quite do that quite as easily. Well there's one or two answers that I can eliminate for 19 and 20 but anyway, some of the uh, tension in cable BD I look over here, I'm trying to solve for BD I see in my X column I've got just TBD times 1 and the X component of the force in TAD nothing else from TCD and the weight so that's what I want to use sum of forces in the X direction write all this out negative 5 blah 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 plus TBD rearrange TBD works out to be 540 newtons once again, like one answer was like would be four newtons, four kilonewtons. It can't be a whole lot more than this, and it probably is going to be less. I can see by looking at it. If I got 1.23 kilonewtons in my vertical cable that's carrying most of the weight, TBD is just holding it over here in the uh, positive x direction. So it's going to get, you know, like 40% of that force. Finally, uh, the tension in cable CD. Look in these columns. I've got just TAD plus the TCD, the Y component. So I want to use my sum of forces in the Y. Negative 2 over square root of 129 TAD plus TCD. Plugging in the value for TCD. I mean, uh, TBD. TAD, and I've just, just 
wrote that wrong, that's TCD. So TCD is equal to 216 newtons. Same logic applies, does this seem about right? Okay, this one's pulling it over, look at TBD's pulling it over 5 from the y-axis. TCD is pulling it over 2 from the x-axis. So TBD's pulling it over more, so it has greater force than TCD, which is pulling it over just 2. And it's almost in that exact ratio. Probably is in that exact ratio.